goes to the short term oriented funds and people want to manage the short term oriented funds because that's where the biggest fees are and come to think of it he mentions that human beings as a species have survived because they have hung around in groups so it's psychologically very difficult to stay away from the crowd and he says probably only 5% of the people manage that if you want to invest in anything your objective should be clear why are you investing in that is it to make the maximum amount of money by taking fewer risks or is it to be able to talk about those stocks in the party circuit <laughs> most of the time people exchange notes are ye ipo mein paisa dala kya ye share liya kya everyone will buy those same stocks those same stocks will come in the newspaper headlines those same stocks will be uh, spoken about in cnbc but many of the times opportunities lie where there is no spotlight where things are very obvious where things are available virtually free and still people ignore those kind of opportunities so that's the theme of this talk it's a very long video it's 1 hour 46 minutes so we have just played around 15 minutes of that uh from here on he goes on to explain some uh, uh examples in the past where he has invested what i'll do is i'll try and get some sections for next time where again it will be uh, theoretically interesting to the group because we are not yeah. interested in the us examples uh, as much i'll wind this up here and we'll take some of the we'll take the presentation for today that we have Are you trying to say that 95% of the people really don't make money? Or the 5% makes much more than what the 95% does. The 95% make as long as the tide is high. When the tide, what are the trades? Period. People have not uh, exactly seen the. broken it up investor wise but what they are seen is that with the advent of technology and with the increasing ease of going in and coming out of investments the holding period has gone on reducing both for institutional investors as well as the individual investors so earlier where the average holding period used to be 2 or 3 years that has in many cases come down to as low as 3 months so earlier you had to send the physical certificates for transfer you had the ring where trading took place it was much more difficult today at the click of a button you can buy or sell something so that has resulted in increased churn okay uh, to get back to our presentation for today we are going to somewhat digress from what we have been talking about in the past in the past we have spoken about one buffett's way of investing uh, into stocks today we'll see how it all started the person pictured here is benjamin graham uh, he is considered the uh, father of value investing you would have heard about a course called uh, cfa chartered financial analyst graham was instrumental in having that institute set up and establishing security analysis as a formal <coughs> profession he was both a teacher as well as a practicing investor uh, he ran his own investment partnership as well as he taught at columbia university he has also authored two books uh, one is called security analysis the other one is called intelligent investors uh these are considered investment classics and till today there are people who follow this kind of investing approach 
So we will look at what were the principles that Graham had, uh, how it differs from some of the principles that Buffett follows and then towards the end we will discuss one uh, actual stock in the Indian markets. It is a semi stock tip kind of thing. So whoever is interested can act on it at the end of it. <laughs> We have discussed this in the past uh, and this was also spoken about by Lee Lu. We want to partner with you can sit down, relax. No, it's okay. We want to partner with promoters in management who are honest and competent. We want to buy good quality businesses which are easy to understand and predictable where there are some entry barriers or there is some competitive advantage with that business. We do not want to buy businesses where there is a lot of borrowing and we want high return on equity. Also we want to consider margin of safety, we want to buy things cheaper. So this is Buffett's approach. There are some differences that Buffett's approach has with Graham's approach. Buffett started off as a pure Graham investor and over the years he uh, fine tuned his investment approach and came to this at this point in time. So some of the concepts are common between the two. Graham introduced the concept of investment versus speculation. He said that anything which provides safety of principle and a reasonable rate of return is investment and anything which depends on the market movement in short term or which is done out of borrowed money is speculation. He also, also spoke about equity ownership as a partnering in business and not uh, buying a piece of paper the value of which goes up and down. He introduced a fictitious person called Mr. Market. Mr. Market is a person who is a maniac, a depressive kind of a person. One day he is uh, very optimistic in a very happy mood. He will bid up the prices of stocks to dizzy levels. On other days, he is very depressive, he is in a foul mood, he will be willing to sell all his possessions at rock bottom prices. So Graham said that you should make Mr. Market your servant and not your friend. He said you should not be guided by Mr. Market because then you will end up doing stupid things. You should take advantage of Mr. Market. Margin of safety we have discussed uh, many times in the past. We will be discussing uh, this concept of net nets uh, in today's presentation. What Graham did not emphasize in his approach was management quality. He recognized that management quality is important in his writings, but he did not put a financial value on it. In his opinion, management quality would be reflected in the past earning record and the future projections of shares. He said you should not double count. After you have made your financial projections, you should not add a premium for management quality. That was his opinion. Also, he did not focus too much on business quality. So the approach that Graham had to investing is referred to by many as cigar butt investing. We will look at what cigar butt investing means. Yeah. 